Hey guys, so for today's video, we are going to be doing the highly, highly requested squishy makeover, the infamous squishy makeover. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you may already know we're doing this. I put a little hint on my Instagram post, like with a squishy and stuff. A lot of you guys have requested this, I will say. Meredith, Chloe, Sugar Magnolia Gaming, there are many others. It was the number two vote in the polls. And then last video on my painting paint palettes video, we had Mariah Elizabeth, literally Mariah Elizabeth, the queen herself, blessed me in a comment and said, I would love to see you do a squishy makeover. Uh, so no pressure, but we're gonna do a squishy makeover. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before, so please everyone be nice to me. I am just trying my best and we're gonna do the squishy makeover. Let's... let's do it. I'm not nervous. Nope. Okay, so I started off my first ever squishy makeover with this guy. I guess I think it's like a wolf or a cat or a dog. I don't know. And then this orange thing with that horrid face on it. Just ripping out those keychain things to begin with. And the reason I started off with this is because, I don't know, I just like the shapes of them, honestly. I thought it looked funny if I put the head on top of that, like, orange bouncy ball thing. I'm not gonna tell you what I'm making yet, because I want to see if you guys can guess. But, yeah, so I sanded it down, put the fabric glue, I'm using tacky glue, which is, like, fabric glue. Um, oh, don't look. Don't look. Ugh. Okay, so we had to cut that guy's eye off so that the head would fit flat on this round ball. Yeah, glued that down and secured it with a rubber band, let it dry for a while. I don't know how long. Uh, I don't know. Okay, yep, that looks painful. <laughs> okay, once that dried, then I decided to take this dog and cut off its ears and use it as arms because I think that these are like the funniest shape kind of arms you can possibly put on a character. I always love these kinds of arms. Glued those on and rubber banded him in. He looks like he's about to go in a straight jacket right now. Ugh, the poor guy. I hate watching these. Ugh, looks painful. Terrible. Uh, then I took a random tooth, and I cut that off and made it its tail. And I don't know if you can tell what he is yet. You probably can't. Uh, after that dried, uh, yep, we have the tail on. He is secure. I then made it all even and filled in the holes with some fabric paint because I watched Mariah Elizabeth do this. I know she used puffy paint for it, but I didn't get that until like three days into this, so that is slick paint, which is not correct, technically. Alright, so now I'm cutting off its ears. Yep, that looks painful, but we're doing it because I don't know if you can tell what he is yet. I don't- I feel like you probably can't tell what he is, but he, it's coming. Okay, so now we've- green, so it's- I'll just give it- it's a turtle. It's gonna be a turtle, a sea turtle. Uh, yeah. So I am painting with my fingers, you'll notice. Um, and that is because I gave away probably two or three paintbrushes to the cause, and I said, no more. No more. I will not destroy any more of my paintbrushes. Oh, look at his face! Look at his face! He's adorable! Look, look at him! He's so cute! This is like my favorite one, I'm giving it away. Just the first one is my favorite one, I just absolutely love this one. Uh, so yeah, I was painting with my fingers because I found it gave a smoother finish for me and also it didn't ruin my paintbrush. I used the paintbrush towards the end when I was doing like the final touches, but at the beginning of these squishy makeovers I was using my fingers. Finger painting. Uh, so you can see here I'm putting like a lighter green, like a neon green on the top and then a blue in the middle. I was trying to create like a ombre effect on this turtle man. And there I am doing the turtle shell. And here, I added the shell and did not tape it. I apologize, I am a horrible YouTuber. I missed it. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you. He has a shell now. It was just circle shapes on the back in chunky form. And then, um, what am I doing here? Oh, see, I'm filling in the, the back of his, like, fins. I'm making it a lighter green and putting a texture. Okay, so now that that is all finished, the only thing that was left to be done was... The sides. Yes, the sides. Yeah, we had to do those. And then the belly, which is my favorite part because it's ridiculous. He is literally a ball and I filled it in with yellow. I think this looks so funny. It just makes me laugh so hard when I look at him. He's just adorable. Uh, well, look at his- look at his body! Like, it's just the weirdest shape. His stance alone just kills me every time I look at him. His stance is just ridiculous. And I gave him three little freckles on each of his fins. Uh, which I think looks so cute. And now we're moving on and we're going to put his eyes on, which gives him all of his character, you know? 
It gives everything. Everything about him is defined when you put the eyes on. Ready? Suddenly he comes to life. Oh! Oh, he's so cute. Oh, get out. Get out! No, look at his little mouth. Look at his mouth. Oh! Look, he's so cute! This is... And I've decided to name this turtle Seaford because he's a he's a sea turtle. Okay, so we went from this weird ball and this fox and this random tooth to Seaford, our very, very adorable friend, who is not, maybe not artistically technically correct, but he's the best I could do, and he was my first squishy makeover. So I want everyone in the room to stand up and put their hands together for Seaford. Okay, moving on, I'm sorry. Okay, so the next one we have, again, I'm a bad YouTuber, sorry. I glued this random head, I don't know what that is. I really don't know what that is. I glued it on to this cake roll, uh, which has a terrible, terrible color. Um, and that had a terrible hole in it as well, at which I had to fix up and make a little bit like smoother with scissors and I don't know. Someone destroyed this cake roll big time. But yeah, we're filling in all the holes and making this squishy one squishy you know we're making it all smooth and everything i think you can probably tell what this squishy is it's a snail if you can't um a snail cake roll thing i don't know um so at first i decided let me paint this a light pink because i don't know i like light pink i was using my fingers and i thought that that would be fine i didn't really have a plan and then i was looking at the swirl and i was like what if i make this a tie-dye snail so I did that at first, and I did it wrong. And the perfectionist in me hated it. So you can see this, and it does look like tie-dye. That does look like tie-dye. That does not look incorrect. But I saw it and said, wow, that looks awful. And I'm looking at it now, and it looks fine. Like, there's literally nothing wrong. But I redid it. I did redo it because I'm a lunatic. So, I don't know if you're picking up what I'm putting down here, but basically my concern with the other way was it didn't show the cake roll swirl, and I really wanted the cake roll swirl to be present in the tie-dye. So that's what I'm doing here. It's really not that different, and ultimately it does not matter whatsoever, but I did do it, and I just wanted to show you how much I drive myself insane, basically, because ultimately it looks pretty much exactly the same, and if I had kept it the other way, no one would have even cared, except me. Uh, so here I'm just like making the tie-dye zigzag, like, you know, blending it together like tie-dye, and now it looks exactly the same, but it's better, right? Better. Uh, so it has like a dripping thing, which I thought was fine because I like that because snails are slimy, you know? Snails are messy and disgusting. Uh, so that got dried on the paper right there, and I had to cut that off because I really did want to keep the drip. I liked the drip. Snails are gross, you know? They're drippy. They're slimy. And that's what this gives off. I wanted, like, a tie-dye slime. Um, so then I just did the back with tie-dye, and we're not gonna waste your time looking at that. And I blended it out, made it look like tie-dye, and let it dry. Okay, so moving on to Marge's face. First I painted it too dark, then I lightened it up a little bit. At first I was a little upset, I'm not gonna lie, about the way Marge was coming together. Um, but then I really thought about it and I was like, you know what? I'm trying to paint tie-dye. Why would I ever think tie-dye would come out clean and not messy? Every time I've done tie-dye in real life, it's always messy, I never can predict where things are going, it always gets a little messed up, but it's usually fine, and that's just how Marge is, you know? She's a little messy, a little sloppy, but she looks mostly fine, she's put together. Who among us can say that we're not a little messy like Marge? Uh, so yeah, so I'm adding little dots, yeah. She started to look a little bit like an Axatolo, like a little bit, like an Axatolo mixed with a snail also in, in tie-dye form. Um, yeah, so we're adding the eyes, and we're adding a cute little smile. Aww, adorable. And then we also added some eyebrows, because, I don't know, I needed the eyebrows. I feel like the eyebrows gave it a sweeter face, I don't know. So we went from this cake roll, and the random tooth, and that weird face, to Marge, our 
Very colorful, tie-dye, snail, axitolo combo. She's a little bit of a mess, but she's very nice. She's very squishy. And I might even say she's very psychedelic. Colorful. Very psychedelic, colorful. Moving on to the last squishy makeover. Um, yeah, this guy is a wreck. Here's a quick list of things I don't like. The color of his eyes, the color of the skin on his hands and his face. I don't like his tail color. I don't like his ears location. I just don't like anything about that monkey. Even like the hue of that monkey's fur, I just don't like anything about him. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm going to be making a monkey with a banana split in front of him. Yay. Yuck. Gross. Uh, so the first thing we had to do was, yuck, you hate to see it. He's earless. We had to, yuck, cut his ears off. Big no. So now that he's earless, he had some plastic surgery done, and he's gonna have his ears moved up a little higher on his head. Yeah, this looks, I mean, as surgery is, it's painful. Beauty is pain, that's what they say, and in this case, it happens to be true. Not in all cases, though, but in some. Okay, then we have our cute little three panda buns. I cut half of it off so I can fit them all on the banana. Um, and this is gonna be a Neapolitan, you know, the strawberry vanilla chocolate thing. Uh, so I glued those together. And then, once those dried, I glued them onto the banana. Tied that up with a rubber band. And then I put it in front of the monkey. Um, so I made a slight mistake here where I cut off the ice cream scoops and I cut off too far. So I had to glue that back on. Um, and then we gutted him. Ugh, you hate to see it. We had to gut him. I'm gutted looking at it. Um, yeah, we had to cut off the front of him because I needed him to fit in the banana. And that looks uncomfortable. Those rubber bands just never quite look comfortable for them, you know? Once that all dried, then I filled in with some fabric paint and made all of the holes not holes anymore. Just made that all one squishy, squish, squish. What? Okay, next up we did the initial paint coats. I was again painting with my fingers. I found that if I painted with a darker coat of paint to begin with, it was easier to cover up the spots. So that's why everything's so dark there. I do go back in and lighten everything up after the fact. And now we're moving on to the face with a light brown. I could see the outline of this, so this was a little bit easier to do. I don't know if you guys can tell, you probably can, I'm doing this monkey in the style of Mariah Elizabeth. I know usually she likes to do animals with dessert themes, so that is what I am doing. Moving on to the ice cream, which was actually my favorite part of this monkey thing. Uh, so the Neapolitan, we got strawberry vanilla chocolate, and I made it like thick and chunky to kind of make it look like it was like melted and textured, and I feel like it ended up looking kind of like real ice cream, which I was really happy with. And yeah, that's the ice cream. And I filled in the tail, put a little dot on the nose with a light brown. I added like a sweet little smile. I don't know, I like the smile. And then I messed up the eyes, we'll be honest. I was trying to do like a flirty eye where they're like so in love with the ice cream, but it didn't work out. They looked mad, so I changed it to just the round eyes, which I think looked better in the end. And since we are doing this in the style of Mariah Elizabeth, there's a couple of key things we need. We need some chocolate sauce. We need some glimmers in the eyes. I realized after the fact that I probably should have made those pupils a light brown, like the same color as the nose and the mouth, because that's what Mariah likes to do. She usually does like a muted thing. Thing. Uh, but that's okay. And then I made some drips on the ice cream to kind of make it look like a melted look. I know Mariah likes to do drips a lot of the times, so that's why I added that. I also added some hot fudge and melted whipped cream to the top of the head, and of course, we can't forget the sprinkles. Yes, those are real sprinkles because I couldn't find polymer clay and I added some eyebrows because I know Mariah likes that and Mariah, I hope you like this one. So we went from that to that. Yeah, I've named this uh, monkey Elliot. I think he looks like an Elliot. I don't know. He's got a sweet face. He looks like he's looking down at his melted ice cream. And now we have all three of them. We have Seaford, Marge, and Elliot. Seaford the sea turtle, Marge the snail slash axitolo, and Elliot the monkey with his ice cream. Choose your fighter. 
I choose Seaford because he's my fave. He's so cute. Ah! All right, guys, so that is the end of the video. If you did like it, please give it a like and comment below who your favorite is. I think we all know that my personal fave is Seaford because he's literally a ball and it's just ridiculous. I love his stance. It's just, it's very funny. I don't know. I love him. That's the end of the video, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you next video. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. <sighs> We've got the shout outs. Okay, so for today's video, we've got Sid the Sea Otter, Kara, My Animations, Charlotte, Eminem Videos, Haley, and Lily. Hi to all of you. They commented their favorite arts and crafts project on my painting paint palettes video, and they also shared it with a friend. Um, if you... Mm, okay, so if you guys would like a shout out in my next video, follow the directions that are in the description of this video. That's how you can get a shout out in my next video, and I will see you guys next video. Bye. <laughs>